Hi everyone, welcome back. Professor McAllister here and I really haven't seen you in a long time. I appreciate those of you who've been watching my videos and I appreciate the nice comments that you've been sharing with me. I want to take a minute to talk about the virus. I know this is a difficult time for everyone. It's especially hard for those of us who have lost a loved one or a friend or those of us who have even maybe had the virus itself. It's especially tough for all you parents, especially if you work and you're trying to educate your child at home plus study for the T's. Hang in there. This too shall pass. We'll all get through this together. The most important thing is to stay safe. Practice social distancing. Please wear your mask when you go out and let's everybody stay safe and we'll all get into the nursing program because they definitely need you now, okay? Today is episode 21 and I'm going to talk to you about parentheses, okay? So let's get started. Hello again, everyone. Let's learn all about these exciting parentheses. In this video, I'm going to define parentheses and tell you when to use parentheses. And we're also going to talk about the type of punctuation to use in, with parentheses. And then I'll give you an opportunity to practice and then we'll review. Parentheses are a pair of signs or symbols that are used to provide extra information in a sentence. The singular form of parentheses is parenthesis. Although you cannot use just one in a sentence, you must use both symbols at the same time. One to begin your extra information and one to end your extra information. When you use parentheses in a sentence to provide extra information, the sentence must make sense, grammatically correct, if that extra information is omitted. And we're going to review that further down the road. And you can see the parentheses here at the bottom. So you use parentheses to add extra information in a sentence. The information within the parentheses does not have to be a complete sentence. However, the sentence that contains the parentheses must be a complete sentence. Let's look at an example. I would enjoy riding a bicycle, if I had one, to work every day. And then the incorrect version, I would enjoy riding if I had a bicycle to work every day. Notice the difference in the first version, the first sentence, bicycle appears before the parentheses and it makes it clear what the person would enjoy riding to work. And the second sentence, the incorrect version, if we took out, if I had a bicycle, then the sentence wouldn't make sense. I would enjoy riding to work every day. Technically, that is a grammatically correct sentence. However, it's not clear. Ride what? The bus? The train? A scooter? You know, a camel? What? Now let's talk about the punctuation. If the extra information contained in the parentheses is a complete sentence, which means the first letter would be capitalized, then you must include the in punctuation inside before, that is, the parentheses. On the other hand, if the extra information contained in the parentheses is not a complete sentence, then you only use the punctuation that appears at the end of a sentence. So let's look at the punctuation here. The library is open this afternoon, period. And then in parentheses, it has so many books. The part contained in the parentheses is a complete sentence. It stands alone. So you have to include 
that punctuation mark before you have the closed parentheses. Also notice the first the sentence, the library is open this afternoon, it must contain its original punctuation, which is a period at the end of that sentence. The next sentence, the library, my favorite place, is open this afternoon. So my favorite place, that is not a complete sentence. There is no punctuation there. You only have the punctuation at the end of the sentence. And by the way, did you notice I said library? There are two R's in library. Please learn how to pronounce it correctly. It is one of the most, uh, most often mispronounced words. And you will, if you pay attention and listen to people on TV, the news, whatever, and they'll say the library. Very educated people saying the library. Make sure you say the library. That's just a pet peeve of mine. That was extra. Another punctuation rule with parentheses is do not use a comma before the parentheses ever. Okay? So let's look at this example. Before you go to school, if you actually go, please turn off the lights. Notice there is no comma before the parentheses. It comes afterwards. All right, let's practice. Which of the following sentences with parentheses is correct? No matter how hard I try, and I always try very hard, I cannot understand algebra. Okay, both sentences say the same thing, except the first one has an extra word, and, in the parentheses. So take a look at those. You can pause the video if you'd like and see if you can figure out which one is correct. The correct answer is, no matter how hard I try, I always try very hard, I cannot understand algebra. Notice that I always try very hard is a complete sentence. It begins with a capital letter, so you must include the punctuation mark at the end of that sentence before you include the, the closed parentheses. And then you add a comma. Let's look at another one. The picture in the frame is 20 years old. That is a picture of my mother. And the next sentence says the exact same thing. You're looking at the punctuation here. So look at the punctuation and see if you can determine which of these two sentences is correct. The correct answer has a period at the end of the sentence and then a period after mother in parentheses at, before you include the closed parentheses. Okay, let's look at one more. Please do not disturb the sleeping cat as she is very sick. So both sentences say the same thing. Again, you're looking at punctuation. And the correct answer is please do not disturb the sleeping cat, comma, as she is very sick. Remember, you never put a comma before a parentheses. And also, if the extra information inside the parentheses appears in the middle of a sentence, you almost always follow with a comma. So, for a quick review, parentheses are a pair of signs or symbols. They're used to provide extra information in a sentence. You must use both. You can't just have one parentheses. You have to have both. And you use them, again, to provide the extra information in a sentence. That's kind of redundant. What I'd like for you to do is, if you have a request for me, please leave comments below this video and share your thoughts with me. Let me know what you would like for me to explain in, in the next video. 
And in closing, I want to remind you again, please stay safe and stay healthy. Practice social distancing and please wear a mask at all times when you're outside. And this too shall pass, so hang in there. Thank you. Hi, thanks for watching my video. If you found my video helpful, please indicate it by hitting the like button. You're also welcome to leave any questions or comments down below. Lastly, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you'll receive notification of all my future videos. Thank you.